Welcome to the PIEA Week 5 Highlights. We saw a bunch of great plays this week across Rocket League and Valorant, so let's get into the standout performances these players had. Our first Rocket League match of the week featured Emmaus versus Garnet Valley. This set started super close. Game 1 looked like it was heading to OT, but useful Hydra from Garnet Valley hit a goal with 0 seconds left on the clock to end Game 1. The second ended up going similarly with an almost 3 minute overtime win by Emmaus' Ridley. With the set tied up, Garnet Valley was ready to rally though, and they ended up winning the third game 1-5, and they were able to secure the set 3-1 with a last minute goal by Mr. Vibro to win Game 4. Our second Rocket League game saw Red Lion Area take on Law Academia. Law Academia came ready to play and quickly won game one, seven to zero. Their second game was quite literally twice as good though, and they won 14 to zero thanks to UV Anthony scoring a whopping nine goals. Just in case there were any doubts about the Law Academia roster, they won their third game 14 to zero in an equally dominant fashion. Not only did they shut out Red Lion Area, they did it while scoring 35 points across three games. Great job to the Law Academia roster. The last Rocket League match featured Biglerville versus Penn Manor. Game 1 started out close, but Biglerville was able to win thanks to two great goals from Zapt. Penn Manor wasn't out of the running though, they were able to fire back with another victory by two points. In Game 4, both teams played super defensively, and Biglerville was able to shut out Penn Manor thanks to Zapt scoring the only goal of the game. In the final game, Penn Manor was able to lock in and win the set with a 3-1 victory in Game 5. Both teams fought very hard and gave us a great back and forth set to watch, so great job to both thrusters. Our first Valorant set of the week saw Wyoming area and Lower Moreland go head to head. Lower Moreland got off to an electric start on Bind for game one. In the first round, we saw Complicated. Lower Moreland's Cypher play a great post plan and collected an easy 4k. A few rounds later, their jet Fall Guys Ultimate followed suit with a very similar 3k. Lower Moreland used this momentum to snowball in game one, winning the map 13 2. In game two on Ascent, Laura Moreland also got off to a great start. Their duelists were able to wipe the entire enemy team with a Jet 3K and a Yoru 2K back to back. Later in the game, Laura Moreland's Yoru had an Eco 4K that pretty much put the nail in the coffin for Wyoming area. This led to another 13-2 win for Laura Moreland, finishing the set 2-0. In the second Valorant match, Lampeter Strasburg faced Mannheim Township. While Lampeter Strasburg won map 1 on Bind convincingly, Mannheim Township put up a crazy fight at the end of this game. Mannheim's Reyna, some random guy, put up some great elims, but Lampeter Strasburg was able to pull things together and win the game 13-6 with a Razel from Oddjob New. Map 2 on Breeze went very differently though, with Mannheim getting off to an early lead thanks to some great plays from Mr. Wu. Mannheim was able to continue this momentum and win game 2 13-4, tying up the set and sending them to a game 3. With a chip on their shoulder, Mannheim Township went into game 3 ready to win and quickly finished the game 13-6, winning them the set. The last Valorant game of the week featured Haverford versus Garnet Valley. The first half of map 1 on Ascent was neck and neck, with both teams tied going into the second half. After a super close pistol round, Garnet Valley was able to stop Haverford's momentum. After that, it was Garnet Valley's map, and they were able to wrap up Ascent after only giving one round to Haverford the entire second half. Map 2 on Split played out similarly, but Haverford's cipher, Iron King 10, was an absolute wall this game giving them many close rounds throughout the map. Garnet Valley kept collecting rounds though, and they were able to win map two 13 to seven again with a six share of 4K from Beast. That's all for the PIEA week five highlights. So stay tuned for our coverage of week six.